Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Another super rainy day here in the DC area. Take a look at the shirt that I just made today out of a pattern that I found on the internet. I found some free t-shirt patterns. I'm just testing my new heat press. Finally doing the first t-shirt on it. Came out beautiful. Read it while you're listening to me. It's kind of funny. Now, I wish there was a way that I could post a video and the whole world could find it so that they would not continue to ask these questions. It's not that it makes me angry. It just kind of makes me have to do this over and over and over because every time I upload a video, only a couple of hundred people actually click on it. If you are going to print on a Pro 100, a Pro 10, a Pro 1, and a Pro 1000, and you are, oh, thunder, we're having some more thunder, I hear. Anyway, any of those four printers, they're all refillable. The only ones that are not resettable are the Pro 1 and the Pro 1000, but there are chips that you can buy to be able to use the original cartridges. The question is this, do I need to flush? I'm about to flush my cartridges. I'm about to do this, I'm about, no, you don't have to do any of that. The PC inks, Precision Colors, Signature Edition inks, not Signature edition for the Pro 100, that's not out yet, for the Pro 10, Pro 1, Pro 1000. Those three printers, as soon as your cartridges, these right here, these, these, and these, they can be allowed to go empty. See, there's a reservoir in the printhead, and with this printer and this printer, there are some internal dampers in the printhead. Those are like mini cartridges that live inside the actual printhead body. So there's always going to be ink, also ink on the ink lines. The chip is very, very smart. It will never allow air to get into those ink lines. So don't worry about that. Run them empty. The only one that you cannot run empty is this one, CLI-42. Pro 10, Pro 1, Pro 1000. Run them empty. Immediately fill them with Precision Color Signature Edition ink set or OEM. You can buy OEM refills from PC now. Okay, you can buy 100% OEM ink in whatever the lots are. This is the only one that is still fully third party inks. Okay, you can buy the Signature Edition, which is composed of mostly third party plus OEM red for this, OEM red for this. And also Chrome Optimizer, so you can get it OEM as well. And then this one, you could buy the Signature Edition ink set with OEM blue, yellow, and red, and Chroma Optimizer. And if you wish, just buy the whole 12 ink load in OEM. It's less than buying the actual cartridge for 60 bucks a piece. So again, please folks, you do not need to flush your original cartridges. If they are yours, you took them out of your printer when they were low, reset them, modify them, do it carefully. People are having problems with plugs fitting loosely, and that will cause all sorts of problems down the road. Go back and listen to my video just a couple of videos ago where I touch on that. Once you modify them, fill them with precision color inks, Put that plug on it, pop it back in your printer. You don't need to flush them. Can I say that one more time? You do not need to flush any of these cards. Any of these cards. Don't flush them. There's no need for you to do that. In fact, you're going to introduce problems if you do it incorrectly. So you might as well not do it. It'll be fine. The transition is seamless, folks. I'm telling you. So what you do, the only one that you're going to flush if you wish to do so, and you don't even have to do that because they're gonna provide you with an already flushed CLI-8, which is the same physical cartridge. You will remove this chip from your original OEM cart that is now empty because you can run the yellow empty if you're not gonna reuse it. Of course, you're gonna then transfer that chip to the replacement cart, fill that one up with yellow ink. From that point on, no flushing, folks. I have been printing on my Pro 100 for five years, since 2013, refilling the same two sets of cartridges. Did you hear me? The same two sets of cartridges, Precision Colors inks, for five 
years, okay? That printer is good for 30,000 eight by tens if you take care of your printer. Use it regularly. If you let it sit for a couple of months, I had a person contact me a year. Now, of course, they're suffering with clogged channels. What you better do at that point, get a new printhead, start afresh, because anything you do to that printhead is going to cause probably more harm than good. So refill, 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 no flushing, okay? The yellow in these inks does not react, only this one. Only this one, the Pro 100. So the only one you have to worry about is the yellow cartridge. They're gonna give you, included in your order, one ready to use cartridge, okay? If you look on eBay right now, there are a couple of individuals selling CLI 42 pre-modified and fully flushed carts from about 60 to about 69, $70 for a set. Mm, expensive, right? But at least all of the work has been done already for you. You don't have to do a thing except reset them and fill them and use them. From that point on, you'll be good to go for like five years like I have been doing. So again, no need to be flushing anything. Don't do anything unnecessarily. That might cause problems later. A lot of people are having problems drying their cartridges properly, okay? And when you don't dry them properly, the ink will not penetrate the sponge, regardless of what you do. So don't do that. Don't create more problems than you can handle, especially a beginner refiller. You still don't know the ins and outs of this system and this process, because again, like I always, always, always say, we're not supposed to be doing this, okay? This is, you know, something that doesn't exist. We still do it though. All right, thank you. I hope this helps. Please save this video Put, a, put it on your, on your must-see list or save it on your browser so you can always link to it whenever you have that idea in your head to unnecessarily flush a cart. Now, when do you flush a cart? Oh, well, you have to sometimes, and I'll tell you when. If you end up buying some set of CLI-42s that come just like this, bare with nothing, the dried up ink already in there, yeah, you may have to flush those. But if they're your own cartridges that you just popped out of the printer, they're just low, the sponge is still filled, no need to do that. No need to do that at all. That is it. I hope that helps you out. Thank you so much. How do you like my shirt? Is this cute or what? Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of things on the sublimation side of things, and I will have some videos this coming week on that. There goes the thunder. We're getting more rain. We're going to get like a week, almost eight days of rain. I really feel bad for the areas around here that tend to flood a lot. But anyway, that's nature, so there's nothing we can do about it. Thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.